Hey guys. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Virgo and Taurus. Virgo and Cappies left. So let's just jump into Virgo. Week two. July 2021. Virgo. Virgo. Something is not going the way you want it to go. Whoa. Okay. You're letting go. It's not bringing you happiness, fulfillment. There's no passion. There's no drive. There was lives. You weren't listening to your intuition. Something was taking too long. This was waiting. You were waiting. And this is letting go. And being extremely successful at removing those blockages. So now you got something new, something solid coming at you. So this has, this has to be somebody you know. Because where else would this come from? You couldn't just be this energy of bleh and not doing what was best for you. So you were successful removing blockages and now you have somebody coming in that emotionally wants to ground a situation with you because the passion is gone the drive is gone the thrill is gone you're gonna have to make a decision and i don't think you're gonna make it blindfolded they're coming right for you as soon as they realize you released i think some of them don't even realize it i think they were naive to a situation yeah, someone kept you on hold. This was somebody who was very inconsistent. And the shitty thing is, is you guys, yeah, see, it's very ungrounded. You guys had a connection. And they neglected it. Yeah, you felt betrayed, stabbed in the back, drama, competition, arguments, deceit, deception. This is you letting go. There was too much drama. There was too much argument. There was there was too much pain. There was there was too much. It was a ten. You held on for tell you for too long anyway. It does suck though. I feel bad as a reader because there was a connection here, but this was somebody who was in and out, unstable, didn't want commitment. They they it's it's like a, a tug of war. This this energy was a tug of war. So they could have been blocking, there could have been a huge blockage, ego blockage, but to me with the wheel reverse, this is something that didn't work out. It was, this was somebody who kept going backwards. You take a, a step forward, you go backwards. You take a step forward, you go backwards again and again. It, it's like, it was repetitive. So there, are, someone has not learned a lesson yet either, unfortunately. isn't normally like you guys yeah so you need to focus on yourself self-worth shadow work self-appreciation so if this isn't you guys it's, it's someone around you it's someone you're dealing with and now you're just like i'm done with this fake romeo shit being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapting changing taking a risk not showing the hand gambling Someone's deciding whether or not to, well, the truth is coming out about a situation. It's whether or not you are going to take something to the next phase. This is like, it's gone and I want it back. Receiving what you need, progression, moving on. Especially from closures, unconditional love, oneness, oneness, passion, affection. See, this is somebody that was unconditional. That's why I said, guys, it's whatever this is is bittersweet. This was like you had to leave in order for somebody to wake up, and I don't even see a wake up call here. But this is letting go of a drama. This is to me, you let go, and this energy is gonna come back. Girl talk, taking time with friends, singly happy, living in the moment. 
Yeah, like I said, like it's, I don't really think it's phasing you. If anything, to me, you removed a, a major blockage. Somebody was keeping you in a scenario where you were literally going nowhere. And it sucks because it, it, it's somebody who clearly did not learn a lesson here. It was very reckless. And I, I don't think it was on your behalf. Yeah, it looks like the feminine really tried and put in effort. Could have been too many people in the picture. They were dating other people. You were dating other people. Giving. Giving to too many people at one time. Masculine was decided to give to too many people. Unfortunately. And you ended it. You said bye. See you later. Done juggling. Your, st your stability is more important. You're healing from something here too. That was, I don't know if that has to do with you. Keys on a ring, many decisions, one night stands, commitment, partnership. So I think, I, I I think what happened, some of you were definitely probably friends with benefits, caught feelings, somebody else was dating, didn't want to be tied down. Now a decision's coming in. Cause, or you made this, did the decision because you want long term and you weren't getting it. You were dealing with somebody who was, like I said, in and out. Arguments, drama, competition. Blech. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. Did I just say that out loud? Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm proud of you. Because this isn't the normal Virgo reading. This is literally, this is your self-worth. This is getting rid of whatever does not suit you. There's too many people in the picture. This is you knowing exactly what you want and it's somebody else's loss. Okay. Um, what's next for Virgo? You got the three of fire. Abundance, things looking good, making long-term plans, and the Queen of Air. Objective decision-making, clearing away what no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation, you're independent, you're experienced, you're realistic, you're witty. You're about to turn a corner somewhere and make long-term plans. Okay. Lavish life, giving birth to your dreams. You're going right towards contentment. Okay, so you're making the, you made the right decision to, to leave this scenario. Too much drama. Besides, you were dealing with Prince Charm and Romeo. Ladies and gents, you want Zora. Okay? Don't settle for less. I love you guys. I'll see you on Patreon. Bye.